first off, I want to welcome everybody. My name is Greg Hetrick. I uh, kind of took the point on organizing this year's event. Uh, so hopefully it's a good one. Everybody has fun. i turn this on. So first off, welcome. So uh, we wanted to look at a little bit of numbers. So uh, that's not 2014. That's supposed to be 2012. We had 130 registered, 70 attended. 2013, we had 175 registered, 203 attended. Uh, that one was in Dubuque. The first one was in Ames. 2015 was at DMAC here in town. We had about 150 attended. Uh, and so far this year, we had 177 registered at the time we took down registration on Thursday, um, just so we could get numbers for catering and whatnot. So uh, hopefully we get a pretty good crowd. It looks like there's quite a few in here. So that's good. Next thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, many of you know uh, Ken Johnson passed away right before last year's event. Um, he was the lifeblood of B-Sides Iowa. He started it in 2012. Uh, and he kept it going even after he moved to Chicago and he kept in touch with folks in town. And so uh, we really thank his contributions to the InfoSec community in Iowa and to B-Sides Iowa itself. We're also really, really blessed to have Ken's wife, Jessica, and his daughter, Savannah. They were running the registration booth uh, and they're here today to help out because they really, uh, really like to, to, um, uh, to get involved with, with the things that Ken was doing here in Iowa. <clears throat> Second thing was uh, David Jones. So David Jones, uh, many know him as Rance. Uh, he worked with B-Sides Iowa as well. He worked at principal with, uh, with Ken, and he ran the Lockpick Village at the first several B-Sides. Uh, he passed away in October of 2012 uh, from cancer. Um, and, and last year when they, when they were going to they were organizing uh, B-Sides 2016, Ken had reached out to uh, Ryan and said, hey, we want to do something for David. Um, so we kind of wanted to incorporate in, into this year's event something for David. You'll see it on your badges. Um, just a, a notice that, that we really appreciate what they did for us. Another thing we kind of wanted to touch on, so right after last year's event was canceled, the folks up at MISCONF in Minneapolis reached out and said, hey guys, this, you know, we're, we're sorry to hear about what happened. We, we really want to you know, reach out and help you any way we can. Uh, so they gave us, you know, those who were registered last year, we sent out an email. Uh, they gave us free tickets to their conference up in Minneapolis, which was awesome. I know several of us went. Um, it was a great time, so I wanted to give a shout out to this year's event which is uh, at the end of October. Um, it's a really, really good time. It was a great kind of uh, community feel event, a lot like B-Sides are. They did a great job. I know Tom was there and several others. We really enjoyed it. So I want to give those guys a shout out. They also helped, helped me get the badges put together and I had questions for them about different things. Uh, they helped us with that. So uh, again, a shout out to those guys uh, for everything they did. I also wanted just one slide for Karen Beal. She actually uh, designed our logo, her husband James helped us do some organizing, so I wanted to at least give her uh, some acknowledgement for, for the awesome work she did on the new logo. Sponsors. Uh, so many of you know, B-Sides is a community-driven event. We don't exist without the, the help of sponsors. Every one of these sponsors contributed time or money uh, to help us put on this event. Um, this is how we're paying for lunch. This is how we got the t-shirts. This is how we got this venue. Uh, Threat Connect at the bottom, and I'll talk about this in a minute. They stepped up late this week and said, hey, we want to help with an after party. So there will be an after party. It's at 515 Brewing Company over in Clive. Um, they're just going to give us a pot of money. Um, the only caveat is there's no food there, uh, but it's going to be later in the day. So grab food. They said bring it in, and it'll be fine. The folks who own that brewery, we found out, are uh, actually InfoSec guys. So uh, it was great to kind of help the community out locally as well. So anyway, there's several of them that have booths. LRS has a booth. Cyber Region has a booth. Titus, uh, they're not here yet, but they were going to have a booth. So you know, stop by, say hi. Check them out, you know, see what they got, and, and thank them for their support. Uh, and No Starch uh, actually sent us a pile of books. Everybody should have got a raffle ticket when they checked in. We'll uh, raffle off, but they gave us books, free ebook vouchers. Oh, there's something else I got to get out there. They also gave us 30% off coupons, and I will set those out at the registration desk, and you can grab those uh, when you get there. I forgot to set those out this morning. Here's thank you to all of our individual donors. So when you, when you registered, you had the opportunity to, to give an individual donation. Um, and these are the folks that did, and, and we said we'd give you a shout out at the venue, and we really appreciate those donations as well. Uh, they were great. Uh, we really like that, you know, the community comes together and kind of helps, uh, you know, helps support these events. Nick is here. Nick Stark is here from SecDSM. They actually uh, are sponsoring our CTF and our Lockpick Village, and he's here to give a, a little bit of info about what's going on there. It's going to be awesome, so make sure you get time to check it out. Hi, I'm Nick Stark with SecDSM. We have a, a, a CTF going on in room 150. It's down there by the uh, radio station, kind of in the wall. So uh, come down and uh, 
check it out. Registration is open at ctf.secdsm.org. And uh, the competition starts at 10. It's, it's, it's QR code on your badge. And uh, it starts at 10, goes to, um, <laughs> goes to 6. And uh, I just want to thank all the people who were involved with uh, setting that up. There was seven or eight of us who got together and set up 41 different challenges for you. And it was, uh, it was quite a bit of work. So thank you to everyone who was involved with that. Come on out to room 150, and we'll see you there. Thanks. Yeah, those guys were up even last night, I think, putting together challenges. How many challenges total are there? 41. 41 challenges. There's SDR challenges, right? There's post forensic challenges. There's pen testing challenges. A little bit of everything in that thing, yeah. Uh, those guys really put together a ton of work. And uh, SecDSM, for those, probably several are here involved with that anyway, so they might know more about it than I do. Okay, a few housekeeping things. Restrooms, there's some restrooms just over here, that way. There's restrooms at that end of the hall as well. Um, the lounge, this lounge space over here is not used for anything, and they said we are free to use it. So if you guys wanna hang out there, chat, whatever, you can use that room or you know any other space around here. Lunch, so everybody should have got a lunch ticket. Uh, that's upstairs, just up these stairs or up the elevator over here. That'll get you, I think it's like a buffet style lunch that they'll have up there. Uh, Again, paid for by our uh, sponsorship dollars, so we appreciate those. Uh, we'll, we'll break for lunch from noon to one. So, and we have, so that the lunchroom is split into two. There's a small one to the left, and there's a great big room to the right. The great big room to the right is all ours. T-shirts. So we closed registration for a day to get T-shirt sizes. So we have sizes for everybody who registered before April 1st. Um, I did, we ordered 100, there were 120 people that registered at that point. I ordered 200 t-shirts, so we have plenty of shirts. So I think, at a, I wanted to make sure everybody who registered at a time got, got a shirt that, uh, that they registered for, but I, I think we're going to have plenty. So here at about 11 o'clock, uh, if you didn't get a shirt, if you registered after that deadline, didn't get a shirt, go out there and, and get one. Recordings. Uh, so Evan Davison came in from Atlanta. We thank him, and he is doing all our recordings for us. We all have recordings of both tracks. And we'll get those up on uh, YouTube whenever he gets time. We're not going to rush him. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good Lord. Tomorrow or Monday. <laughs> wow. Uh, we'll have them up there. So if you guys didn't get enough, you can watch everything again. It's awesome. Or if you missed one of the two talks. Uh, no starch vouchers. I mentioned those. Uh, the, the, um, I'll set the 30% off coupons out on the table. So grab one when I mean, you have to walk by the registration table at some point. And then we'll auction off the uh, raffle off the rest at the end of the, at the, end of the event. Um, the Wi-Fi network, I had it up on here earlier, but that's the Wi-Fi network and password um, for this facility, so you can use that. That's that. That's it. I left myself 20 minutes. Wow, that wasn't enough time. So we'll take a few minutes. We'll get uh, our first presenter up and going, and we'll start, uh, start her at 10 o'clock. So take a break, and we'll get started.